Hi everyone and welcome to demystifying the for each statement or loop in BI Publisher. According to Wikipedia, the for each loop is a control flow statement for traversing items in a collection. Wow, that is cryptic, isn't it? Well, let me try this again in a simple manner. A for loop simply means that you're telling the program, in this case, BI Publisher, to perform an action and to do so repeatedly. Now, what is this action? Well, it's whatever you decide. And how many times do you do it? For as many times as your for loop specifies. What do you do to it or what do you use it for? Again, this is what you indicate that the program does. So this is an example of a simplified XML file. It contains information about an institution or a company with um, a little bit of data on their employees, such as what department they're in, their employee number, their name, their job, and their salary. And this is all fictitious data that we are working with. Now, XML documents uh, form what is called a tree structure that starts at the root and it branches to what is referred to as the leaves. An XML tree starts at the root and it branches to the so-called child elements. This is how the relationship among the various data elements is built. Now what you see here is on the left the contents of the XML file structured according to that parent-child relationship. At the very top is the institution which is the root node, then follows department, D-E-P-T, the child of the root parent node, then employee, which is the child of the department parent, um, and so on and so forth. Now, I created this sample view in Excel to the right so that you can see how that data potentially looks like when importing to a table format. In this instance, I am displaying only the first record for the first employee in the file. So technically here, no looping is occurring yet. Now let's dive into applying a for each statement. I will keep the XML contents on the left throughout our examples. First, let us see what happens when we display all the departments using a simple loop. I have written out the code for reasons of transparency, and I have also provided that table on the bottom that contains the form fields. If you choose to use them instead of typing out the code, um, you can have that at your disposal. I personally like the form fields because they are easy to use inside tables inside your BI Publisher template. If you use the form fields, you can always right click on them and then select BI Pro Properties to edit the code. So what is the result of this for each loop? We get each department in the file. Good. Now let us look at another example. Example two, displaying the department and the employee. Employees are available in the context of the current node or the department. If you set a single for each loop around department, then there are only two elements to loop through. Here's the output. Is this really what you want to see though? How can we make this better? How can we show all employees under each individual department rather than just capturing the first employee per department? So in example two, the parser within BI Publisher grabbed the first employee for each department. If your intention was to capture all employees under all departments, then you would need to tell the parser that exact thing. Again, you know, it's, it's a programming language, so it'll take literally whatever you put in and spit out whatever the, the coding um, specifies. So how do you do this? Well, simply by adding another for each loop. When you do this, then for each department in the file and each employee display all names. And this is how that code looks like. Notice here how we're using uh, the syntax right after the first line of code, this is to designate the layers or uh, that, that parent-child relationship. 
And here's the final result. We are displaying all employees individually by each department in the XML file. And that makes a little bit more sense. And there you have it. For each loop explained in a simple way, hopefully anyway. If you have any questions about what you've seen in this video, don't hesitate to comment below or reach out to me personally. Happy coding and thanks for watching.